Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The SBCs that we want most right now in FC24 still haven't returned, and it's starting to hurt the motivation to grind inside of footies a little bit for some people. Because, I mean, who wouldn't mind unlimited icon player picks at the moment? I know I wouldn't. And maybe you forgot like I did, but there's still player SBCs that we are looking for because EA released the cards in the game, and then they disappeared mysteriously and we haven't seen them since so will that be part of our SBC content today or are those cards just gone forever and EA did surprise us yesterday with one piece of content in a good way I want to talk about that and some of the FC 25 news related to heroes at the end of the video we'll touch on but let's get into what could be coming today on Tuesday if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new now let's go over that Monday content first and cover all of our bases from yesterday starting with the biggest W, the surprise we mentioned, the 82 plus player pick came back. They didn't go to the 81 plus player pick, that same rotation, the flip flop between the 82 and the 81 plus pick that we have seen for months on this game. We finally got the 82 plus pick back to back weeks, same requirements, two rares, eight golds, it's great. Some people were saying that the weight changed and felt like these are not as good since it refreshed. I think it's the exact same player pick. The weight always comes and goes a little bit. So this 82 plus pick, it is here. It is the one that unlocks the craft and the grind for being unlimited in the menus with the exchanges for sure. At least I like the 82 plus better than the 81. I know some people like the 81 plus better because it had those four slots, but I am not going to complain about an 82 plus pick that treated me very well yesterday. Now, the other pick that I do want to mention from yesterday's content is the 86 plus and last week the 87 pluses i was not a fan of this week i'm a fan of this one because it's pretty cheap to do it's one squad and in all three of these 86 plus picks that we we're allowed to do each day all three of them yesterday i packed a 90 plus rated player which was crucial in my big spc grind that i was going for so i'm going to try to do these every single day especially with the abundance of 85s and 84s that we're going to get from doing our daily 85 10s and 84 10s on the refresh that one is a easy and must complete in my opinion especially because of how easy it is now the spc yesterday is probably moving the needle the least for a lot of people in the excitement category would be Oxlade Chamberlain another one of those decent footies player SBCs that's definitely a usable card and a cheap card but not anything super crazy insane but it's still nice right club 90 in all the stat categories with 97 dribbling 96 pace power shot incisive pass technical and rapid it's a good it's a good card five foot nine high high work rates five star five star has he had any special cards this year I'm trying to remember an Oxlade Chamberlain card I mean, I can remember old FIFA versions of him, but none this year. If you're English, if you're a Besiktas fan, or if you just remember Oxlade Chamberlain of the Prem and you want to get this done, it's pretty easy. 100,000 coins, and it is a decent card. The playstyle regulars, that's probably one of my biggest complaints at the moment is that some of these cards that they drop, even like the Mia Ham, like doesn't have a lot of regular playstyles. It's like they go for the four playstyle pluses, but they don't give a ton of the regular playstyles in behind the card. Only some cards have more than like four or five, or maybe even six regular playstyles playstyles it, it seems like ea doesn't want to go over like 11 or 12 playstyles in total combining with the play styles and playstyle pluses so anyways that's just one thing that i've kind of noticed it's not a bad card though if it's emotional for you if it's nostalgic get it done it's easy two squads hundred thousand coins easy done now it's more about what we're missing though in terms of the menus as i mentioned guys we are still missing the icon player picks that we talked about in yesterday's video the glitched one of course with the sour that they pulled away because it was messed up and i'm not surprised that they haven't returned yet i mentioned that in yesterday's video as well because these things take time for ea to fix i mean it seems to us without knowing anything about the back end of the code of the game that would just be a simple like push a button or fix the odds or change some sort of calculation or something and then re-release it but the fact that it happened on a sunday well of course the weekend they come in on a monday i'm sure they were working on it today and i would like to hope and think that it would be released today or sometime soon like sometimes when stuff like this gets fixed they don't get released at the content drop they just get released at random hours of the day so like i'll find myself checking the upgrade section here just to see if there's a 91 and a 93 plus icon pick that is out but it is unfortunately not yet so i'm hoping that those come back today since yesterday hopefully it was worked on and fixed and honestly if player SBCs right now, kind of like for me, besides a couple that I did finish, but if player SBCs aren't really doing it for you at the moment, like these icon picks, if these were out, oh man, this grind would be so good. The hype for these SBCs 
on Sunday when they were released, the 93 plus and the 91 plus pick, especially the 91 plus being unlimited repeatable, was kind of crazy because it added a whole new level to the menu grind. Sure, we have the 92 plus player pick that is good. We had it all of last week and it was fun to do and it is a really good one for sure. I'm not downplaying this at all, but to have an unlimited icon player pick alongside of that, that would excite me to go through the exchange grind with the 82 plus player picks to a different level for something new, different and fresh that has not been released inside of footies yet. So I'm really, really hoping that those come back because the player SBCs, as much as I did like Mia Ham and did get it done yesterday, the player SBCs, most of them just aren't doing it for me at the moment so like this is the thing i love too with the footies craft you could literally hop on the game spend about an hour doing 84 tens 85 tens and then 82 plus picks and exchanges and with this sort of unlimited player pick grind you could probably do like five to ten depending on how your pack weight is of the 92 plus and the 94 plus like of the 93 plus on the 91 plus i mean sorry when they were re-released like that would be awesome L sit down for an hour on this game and crank out 10 player picks and get something crazy or have a chance at something crazy like that's that's end game and footy so i love that these player picks are starting to come out and i love that these were released on sunday but they just gotta come back it just kind of feels like the game is in a little bit of limbo until that returns because we knew the content levels were like here with those player picks and then now they're gone it's just kind of like we all want them to come back and it's just kind of down so hopefully that returns today i will say though if you're looking for something to craft just as motivation and you know yeah this is me saying this after yesterday going through the crazy grind in a day and uh, a final time if you missed it of three hours 34 minutes and 27 seconds to craft the Mia Ham SBC. I did have a good amount of fodder in the club. I did beat Zwayback's time. It was a mad dash to the finish. It was a blast. My club is a lot thinner now. It's a lot thinner after turning in a lot of crazy cards, 95s and 6s and stuff like that. But it gave me, I had so much fun yesterday, guys. If you watch the stream or if you missed the stream, even you can check it out on the second channel. We had the highlights uploaded there. It was, it was so fun, man. I had so much fun. I, it was a four, almost five hour stream, but it felt like it went by in a blink of an eye because we were just crafting at a, a rapid pace and I was motivated to get this SBC done inside of the fun parameters that we had set up. And it just brought some motivation to the game. So I will say, just having something like that and setting your mind to some sort of a craft, if you're looking for something to do, Ginola may be next for me. I mean, he's going to be way easier than Mia Ham for sure. Uh, but even Mia Ham, get started on that. Get crafting. If you just want something to go for, I know the icon player picks would sound a lot more fun. But, you know, doing a player SBC does get you like a guaranteed card. There's no guessing. There's no gamble aspect of that. So I'm just saying, like, man, if you set your mind on doing a player SBC, and like maybe even set yourself a timer and try to get it done a certain amount of time. That's another level of fun that you can have inside of the menus right now, kind of adding our own creative spin onto things. Like say, I'm gonna see how much I can get done on Ginola in 30 minutes and like set a, a goal of like getting two or three 93 rated squats done. You know what I mean? Something like that might add a little bit of added spice to the footies endgame grind for any of those that are wanting something just to spice up the menus a little bit. Now, this is what I also remembered. Speaking of player SBCs, right? Remember last week on Thursday when we had this pop card added to the concepts and also this Cordoba? There has been no sight, sound, or even mention of them since then, which is kind of crazy because a 98 rated pop card, I know this one doesn't look that crazy. And also, you know, press proven, that's a good play style plus, but power header, power shot, and finesse. If that power header was like, quick step or rapid or something and maybe shed a little bit more pace this could be a really really nuts card now there's still no leaks or anything about when this pop spc is going to be coming out i just kind of i've remembered that these cards were still supposed to be coming out i would assume they're a part of the player spc release of this week but it kind of falls in line with the 91 and the 93 plus picks that it's like where are they at? They were kind of out in the game as concept cards, and now they've been taken away. So we're still looking for this pop card at some point in this Cordoba. Not saying that either of these is like really that insane, but uh, either they're going to be released this week or EA may have just completely removed them. I don't even know. But that card is one that I would at least try because of the Finesse and Power Shot Plus. Finesse Plus, man, is so OP in this game at the moment. Like, especially just a quick aside from the content for a second. Especially after packing these front three. My front three has changed. I've got Vinny from Friday. I got Ronaldo from last Friday. And then I had Mia Ham from finishing yesterday's SBC. And a green time finesse. Like, you got to get good at moving your keeper if you want to stop those. Because with the high rated 99 shooting that some of these cards have, um, 
99 Ronaldo. Wait, do I have 99 shooting on two of my three attackers and 95 on Vinny? That's crazy. The, the finesse plus with the high shooting stats is just busted. If you can green time it, it's almost guaranteed in the end game, uh, which is maybe a little bit of a problem, but it's just kind of how it's working out. Also, power shots are super crazy too. Been using those with Mia Ham. She's unbelievable in game. If you guys need a little bit of a review, the left stick dribbling is the thing that I've noticed the most about this card. 99 shooting, of course, you expect the shots to go in every time, and they just about do. But her left stick jam, and just it feels like the ball is taped to her foot, even without technical plus. Uh, she doesn't have technical regular either, but her technical dribbling feels amazing. And just when the ball is on her feet with left stick dribble, unbelievable card. So that's my Mia Ham SBC completed in three hours and 30 minutes. Um, again, second channel if you want to check that out. But my man, that finesse plus right now is crazy. Now, okay, back to the content, back to the market. One thing I did notice yesterday that I want to mention as I need to list up my Alex Morgan really quick here is uh, team of the season cards. I think we mentioned a couple days ago, maybe it was even in yesterday's video, how uh, some of the trading with those team of the season cards should be every single day. They go low in the early day hours and then they rise up towards content. Well, simple supply and demand, since the lack of SBCs is kind of happening right now in this game especially with the picks going away the icon picks um tots cards didn't really have that good of a fluctuation and they are now twelve thousand coins remember how these cards did on sunday right they went from 19k up to like 27 at least for our usual check dewsbury hall yesterday without any demand really he just went from 16 17k only to 19 so there's really not a big enough fluctuation there to make it worth it to trade now tots cards down at 12k that's tempting ahead of today's content i will say that this is tempting again to get involved in maybe some of the tots cards that you can pick up for like literally minimum price on bid if these are 12k insta you might be able to pick these up for like 11,000 coins minimum price on bid the higher rated the better and you'll probably be able to sell these for like 17 to 20,000 coins today around the content drop because we should be getting another SBC that could make those demand the demand for those cards go up. And that is, you probably already saw it. It was here in my SBC section because it refreshed the 94 plus pick. Tuesdays have been all about the 94 pluses for like the last two or three weeks in this game. It's a one of four. This week, I don't expect them to add anything else except footies team number four. Could they add that fifth slot? That'd be awesome. Could they increase the rating to 95 plus? I think that would be too OP. So I'm going to imagine it's going to be a 94 plus one of four exact same, probably the exact same requirements as well. Just a reminder that this SBC and also the SBC that we should be having tomorrow on Wednesday, they're not just one and done anymore. For the last week, these have been refreshing just like the icon player pick usually does. It's been refreshing every couple of days, every three days or two days, whatever it is. Uh, so definitely watch out for this to come back today and be a little bit different. I'm just saying, though, a one of five player pick. I think the only place we have one of five player picks right now is maybe in like rivals and uh, champs rewards, maybe for like the top tier divisions. A one of five player pick hits different in rivals. If they were to release one of these SBCs as a one of five, like this 94 plus today as a one of five, that would be a nice little addition and an upgrade to the end game to keep things progressing and feel like you have a better chance at some of those really, really insane cards. So would love that if they were to do that today as well. And the last thing I want to talk about is probably getting a player SBC. It's probably going to be leaked ahead of content. My guess, I'm just going to throw it out there. We're going to get pop or Cordoba today. That's just my guess. I don't know. I don't know what we'll get. Um, we had Oxalate Chamberlain. I'm not expecting, especially in the midweek, any crazy SBCs. We have so many SBCs out right now for players. It's mad. Uh, a lot of them are really, really cheap. Um, so you just want to pick a player today and craft him and try them out in game. Be my guest. I still need to do Yaya. Maybe that's who I'll craft right away because I still need, and I would love to try out this Yaya card because I keep playing against him and he's crazy. But uh, we will get some sort of player SBC today. It'll probably be leaked ahead of time and then one quick check on before we talk fc25 one quick check on footies team four prices drogba is only 1.6 million now crazy how much he keeps dropping off yesterday he was still 1.7 to 1.8 Sunday was the massive, massive drop off. We're probably getting towards the lower parts of the prices for these cards. But again, I don't know what's going to happen on Friday, guys. That's kind of the next big question in terms of content. Is EA going to re release cards from Footies Team 1, 2, 3, and 4 back into packs? Or are they going to drop a Footies Team 5? That is the real big question at the moment. I would be down if they re release cards. Give us 99 Ronaldo, 99 Graham Hansen. Like, put all the 99s back in packs and then just make like a whole massive team of 
most of the footies cards in team five with the same re-release that we have and that'll be a really fun week hopefully with a bit of a boosted chance at footies but anyway we're getting a bit of our head of ourselves there because that's coming for this friday the last thing i want to talk about in the video today is the fc 25 news that was released yesterday about heroes guys oh also as it was slowly to load into the game right there the servers yesterday wow i guess we're getting an icon here the servers every single day is abysmal like honestly if you have other time other than the content drop to log in to be on the servers and like do sbcs do it because it was abysmal you see that in the second channel video from yesterday or if you're in the stream like i was trying to do the craft for me a ham and it kept kicking me out all the time. It was so annoying. It was so crazy. It's probably going to happen every single day um, for through the end of the year. Like, it's got to be something with the servers being partitioned to FC25 or something. But it is not good at the moment. Anyways, this is what I want to just hover over and touch on. Because I think we're going to do a separate video on this today um, on the channel as well. EA tweeted out and confirmed 14 new dynamic heroes coming to FC25 Ultimate Team with a little bit of a trailer. This kind of have has some similar vibes to kind of the marvel um collab that they did two years ago in fifa 23 with the heroes cards but it's not a marvel um related promo it's not a hashtag ad or anything like that with them but we did get some official ratings here and some really interesting things about some of the brand new icons now all sorry not icons heroes all of these heroes are brand new except for yeah, yeah, but these heroes are different as well because they're not the base heroes And that's what we're gonna touch and deep on deep dive on more today on another video is these are not the base heroes that are gonna be in the game This is kind of like a separate hero promo But hazards getting a card and you can see here that the base version starts off. It's called the orange version origin version Sorry and it's going to upgrade to the prime on November 28th. So if you pre-order the game before August 20th, you will get a pack when you get into Ultimate Team at the very beginning, at launch, it says in the tweet, that will give you one of these heroes, and then it'll upgrade further on down the line. So, a lot of thoughts, a lot of questions about that, but that's kind of one of the added perks of getting the Ultimate Edition early on, is getting a hero straight from the start is kind of a big deal. It really is. So, we're going to break that down a little bit more on a later video today, because I think that deserves a whole conversation of its own, because there were so many interesting things that we learned from that yesterday. Now, one last pack, because I don't know, we've been ripping packs all day, so I'm kind of used to it 83 double um this is from objectives oh a team of the tournament argentinian striker hold up what's this icon dude you can't give me that ea you cannot give me that crest spell man is that a uh, gakpo 97 that would have been nice for the mia ham sbc i'll take that that's probably going to go into uh the ginola or something but 83 doubles in 97 and an 89 come up all right that's the video for me today guys we'll be on the stream crafting hopefully those icon picks come back so we can spam some of those and we'll be back for our 84 tens 85 tens and more tuesday grind i gotta play some weekend league as well but that's gonna be today on stream that link's down below in the description check out the second channel vid and if you enjoyed this one drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and comment down below if you have any questions have a great tuesday it's been nate's with account see you guys there peace out